Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and this is our seventh video on Laravel e-commerce project. In this video, we will learn that how we can make a slider and uh, we will show our products on this slider and they will come from our uh, database table with the name of uh, products, right? And uh, this table we created in the last video. If you want to watch uh, this video, the link is given in the description box, right? So what we are achieving at the last of this video for the demonstration purpose, I just want to show you uh, e-commerce website and here we have a slider, right? We will try to get uh, this kind of slider at the last of this video, right? So I'm just going to close this video and let's look out the points of this video. First of all, uh, we will make a product model and we will fetch the data from uh, the database. Then we will create a view and pass the data from controller to this view. After that, we will use the bootstrap browser. We will just uh, get the bootstrap browser code, which is uh, already created on official website or uh, somewhere from the internet, right? And uh, then we will pass our product to this cloud browser and uh, might be we need a little bit style also. So these are the points, right? So now let's start with the command line. And uh, first of all, I'm just going to create my product with the name of uh, product because uh, it will just link with the uh, products table. So just right here, PHP artisan make model and my model name is product. Hit enter and uh, yeah, let's uh, look out the official, uh, <clears throat> sorry, it's not official, it's our website. So uh, let's go to the login page and let's uh, just try to get to login in this website. And uh, let's see that now this is our home page and we will replace our slider here, right? So our model is also created. So now let's jump on this controller, right? So that uh, we can modify it. So this is our model and uh, HTTP controller and uh, then we can just jump on a project controller and here you can get this line. So first of all, I am just going to return. Oh, first of all, I need to just import the model, right? So just right here app models and product. And now just return here product colon colon all and now you can find that we are getting a json format here right so now we want to convert this in json format to a slider for that we need a view so let's go to the resources view sorry views and uh, let's create a view with the name of product dot blade dot php right and uh, let's call it from here so just simply write here view and product right and uh, let's make a semicolon here first of all let's make it statically with the bootstrap slider then we will pass the dynamic data to it right so now let's uh, just go uh, on a login page for a moment and uh, copy and paste it so that we can just uh, get the uh, selection and master and all right and after that we can just remove this stuff and we can also remove this uh, custom login because this is our products and you can add here custom product class for a style right and now let's jump on a browser and uh, search bootstrap 3 browser you can just go on any of okay that's okay we can just get the code from here and uh, this is fine let's copy this code you don't need to just go there because you can get all my code from a github account right and you will get the link in the description box so now let's see what we are actually getting here okay so we got a uh, header footer and uh, the slider is also working but uh, the images is actually not working because uh, we have to provide the images now and uh, these images are, are actually not uh, present in our project which is just we get from a uh, online stuff so now what we need to do just to take a variable here like dollar data or something and uh, get data from a product table and fetch all data right and now let's pass this data in a uh, view and uh, just take a array 
and let's use dollar data all right now we are uh, able to get the or fetch this data inside our uh, okay let's use make it products because there is a multiple products right let's try to fetch here so here you can see that there is a three items inside our browser right one two and three so now we have a dynamic data so we don't need to two of them we can remove them right like this and uh, for that let's just cut this for a moment and take a for each loop and just define here dollar products and this product variable products variable is coming from this array right and uh, after that let's put it here and now you will see that the old data or our five images are present here even they are not working at all right so what we need to do first of all we need to just apply this active class only on one item right so just copy here and cut it from active class and just use here item and if items id equal equal to one right then what we can sh uh, show here then uh, we can show this active class else we can put here null uh, like this i hope this is working fine mm -mm -mm -mm. let me see okay so i we need a one more single quotes here and the item should be with dollar and now slider is working but there is no image so let's add the images here and a source just simply add here dollar item gallery and if you remember that in our last video we added the image url inside the gallery right and uh, now you can find that there is a uh, lots of images but we will add some style here to uh, make this slider uh, height controllable because this is a huge height and this is not looking good right at all and after that in a uh, h3 tag we can simply use here dollar item with the name right and a similar way we can also use here description right so now let's see what we are actually getting here so now we have a lg mobile with a small description and this is working for all like oppo mobile and uh, then let's go for uh, panasonic tv and all but let's control a height for a moment right height is actually not working perfectly so that um let's uh, just remove this old tag because this is not belong to our products and um, just add here class and in a class we can just write here slider img or something right and let's go to the master page and uh, just simply use here img dot this height can be like uh, 400 pixel and it should be important that's great and after that what we one more thing we need to do here because uh, okay let's refresh it and this is working fine for all things uh, now we need to uh, add a style for two more things one is a footer so just go to the select this custom products class and uh, just simply choose here dot custom products height can be like uh, 600 pixel so that we can just make some space between uh this uh, you can see that the footer and our products right and uh, one more thing we can just remove this container also because it will actually just making some spaces on both of side now our slider is in a complete screen so that's great but uh, we need to add some background color also on our text because this is actually not visible so just go to this class and uh, simply right here background color let's say green or something but this is uh, really not looking good so you can add this kind of 
color with the some uh, what you can say transparent background right and uh, what I need to do here so let's define another class like uh, slider text with dot and uh, let's apply a uh, important to it now let's see how it's actually working this is not working why because we did not added this class uh, on our product page right now let's see this is looking cool much better to the previous one right so uh, that's all for this video we got a slider and in the next video we will uh, create a detail page on in this detail page what we are actually going to do uh, we will just uh, go we will just click on this page and uh, on the behalf of id of every project we will uh, land on a product detail page here we will just see that uh, add to cart uh, and uh, buyout and um, detail and category and all stuffs for this project uh, for this uh, product right and uh, thanks for watching this video if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box and please provide your valuable comment to this video also bye bye take care